Divorce can be smooth and divorce can be bumpy. Divorce can pretty much be rough though all around. So when you need to sell the house, oftentimes the challenges are not with the sale of the house itself, but all the other stuff. Selling your home faster and getting the most for your house will take away a lot of stress and you'll both be in a better position for it. And you can move on. So how do you prepare your house to sell faster and for more money? You ask? Some of your first starts are probably, there's not a lot of money right now to go around. There's things going out everywhere and we wanna make the house look perfect. That sounds expensive and time consuming. I don't know how we can get this done. We want this part to be over sooner rather than later. Do these all sound familiar? Let me give you some tips to answer those questions and break it down, what all that means. And I'll tell you what you need to do. Hi, my name is Andrea Larson and I'm a top real estate advisor here in the Scottsdale and Phoenix area and I specialize in divorce real estate and I understand the challenges of selling your house due to a divorce. I've been there each step of the way and can guide you and from what I've learned and get you the most for your money, get your house sold and it can be important more than ever right now to you. Selling it doesn't need to be adding stress. Let me tell you how to make sure to squeeze every dollar out of your sale and get it over and done with. And both come out ahead with less stress. All houses require some sprucing and some freshening up after people have lived in it. And you know, for some time, especially. If you wanna do that faster and for more money, it basically is requiring that, I'm not talking about spending a lot of money on large projects like remodeling. I'm talking about spending enough to just make your house look good desirable, fresh. Every house is different and they need different things, but there's always something that needs to be done to present your house in the best light to maximize your return and net you the most money. Not doing any sprucing up could result your house in looking like a bargain house or looking desperate to sell, which is what you absolutely want to avoid. So what am I talking about? Often it's just minimal of painting and a good deep cleaning. It might be resurfacing your hardwood floors because of your dog, or it might be painting the exterior. It might be tidying up the landscaping. It might be replacing the door that your teenage son punched in his furry first time when he you know, had a breakup with his girlfriend. Who knows? It's very likely that it involves staging and varies, and it can be a little more depending on the house the area you're in, and what the comparable homes are looking like and are going for. When you put your house on the market, you are entering competition and you need it to look good, to draw the buyers in. The nicer the presentation, the faster the buyers will be drawn in and the faster you'll be in contact to sell. It doesn't need to be perfect. And the reality is even almost the most beautiful homes won't pull the buyers in if it's not presented the right way on top of that. If your house looks clean, fresh, and it's been spruced up, and the presentation is great, not only will your buyer appear faster, but you'll attract more than one buyer faster. And you can pull in at least two offers or more. You'll position yourself to get more money on the sale of your house. And it means that you'll be done with the sale of your house faster. And that's the goal. There are also question of, should we do it ourselves? Or hire out the work? That is another important conversation that I have with my clients. It depends, especially when you're going through a divorce. It's really a tough question. I sometimes say project manage this kind of stuff for my clients and hire. Or other times it might be often a collaboration. Essentially, it's whatever it is the need is to get the job done. So if you can't have the capacity to do this and you don't have it, don't worry. I can handle it. Again, I'm Andrea Larson. Give me a call and I can help you with any questions you may have to lessen the stress for you. I love where I live and I want you to love where you live too and get through this stressful time and make it less stressful for you.